What's up, JT Gunner here, and I am back with more of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So, we are reunited with the uh, good old Tulin here. I almost wanted to call him Teba. But, uh, yeah, we're teaming up so we can find out what's going on in that big storm cloud, but it's going to be quite the ascent. But before we can really uh, do that, let's... Uh, well, first, let's get rid of one of these bows so we can grab this better bow. Grab these monster parts. Where was that shrine I pinged? I think it's down there somewhere. i get it later. Not that important right now, but anyway, let's just go ahead and continue on. Um, I will let you know that there's probably going to be a little bit of a diversion, a little bit of sidetracking after we sort of get to where we want to be. In fact, I might actually do it right now, honestly. Well, hold on. We'll see. We'll see about that, because, um... I need, to, I need to know if there's another shrine nearby first off. I'd hate to do a lot of, like, backtracking. But there is something I need to do away from this general region that's really gonna help us out. Uh, before we can really, um, take on... Um, this next part that's coming up. Because, well, like I said before, the warm pants that I have on right now, it's good for this part. But very soon, it's going to get too cold for Link even with these pants. And, um, yeah, we could eat the pepper food, uh, um, spicy food that we've cooked. But it's, you know, it, there's a timer when you do that. It's not that reliable. So, yeah, I'm, j I'm just going to see what's up here real fast. And, um... Hopefully, hopefully, well, um, we could get to, like, a good stopping point so I could just, you know, come back later. Oh, fuck, come on. Did not mean to fall off like that. Finally, come on. Must oh, fuck. I fucked it up. Okay, need a rest. It's fine. There's a ledge here I didn't see, which is good. Okay. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing all right. Oh, boy, there's a... Construct with a funny looking horn. I think he's a little bit stronger than the rest that we've seen so far. Wait, I don't mean to use this one. This one is brand spanking new. Wow, he just one shotted me. Like, I know I had low health, but holy fuck. Alright. I forgot I do have pretty weak armor. This, this pants I'm wearing is not very strong. Alright. There we go. Ah, I didn't want him falling. Oh well. Wanted his horn. His horn makes for good uh, fusion material or weapons. But oh well. Oh well. I guess we're just sol on that front. That's how it is sometimes. Anyway, just gonna keep climbing. Keep on keeping on. Just go ahead and just jump a little. Go ahead and jump. Please let there be some sort of fast travel point nearby. Not, I might. <laughs> might just say nuts to this. Come back later. You know what? I'll probably just continue on and, um. I'll just eat the pepper food if I need to. Damn. It's like the. the snowballs that they've got. that these, uh, monsters have. It's literally. it's literally blocking the, uh, eyeball arrows that I keep shooting at them. There we go. Ah. Suck. There we go. Die. I don't like you alive. Okay. I guess we just continue. I don't know. Hmm. If only were possible to find out what's inside of this blizzard. Oh? Why, if it isn't Tulin, I was too focused on the cloud to notice you. But you've come, and that means... Oh. Yep, they said I could go up there. Oh. I knew it. Something told me you were the best one for this mission. Everyone has admired your wind gust technique since you first demonstrated it. Oh. You may be the only Rito capable of rising above the cloud to find the truth among the turbulent skies. Give it your best shot. I'll be here watching for your return. Uh -huh. Thanks. Between Link and me, you won't be disappointed. Alright, so we're just gonna... Yeah, there really is no shrine nearby. Okay. That sucks, but I think we're, we'll be fine for now. Just continue on. 
We're just going to go down here. We have our send ability, so we can just climb up easier. It's going to get really cold really fast, so... That's why I'm sort of concerned about the equipment I have on. And like I said, it's... The warm pants is fine for now, it's just going to get really cold the higher we go up. So, um, yeah, we're just going to have to be mindful of the temperature, and, uh, we do have spicy food. So I won't have to worry about going back down. I thought about just, you know, going ahead and going back down to, uh, grab the, uh, snow quill equipment. But we'll be fine for now, I think. I'm just going to keep on. Because I just, I just like to make some more progress, some more story progress. Oh, there is a shrine up there. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Never mind what I was saying. Looks like, uh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine after all. Is there seriously not enough? Thought we had enough height to get up there. Yes, not. Okay. We'll just keep climbing up. Should be a way over there. No, I'm a fucking idiot. That's what's wrong. I don't climb up it. I ascend through it. There we go. There we go. That's how you do it. That's how it's done. Just swim through the solid surface and, uh... Arrive on top. Okay. Rising island chain. That's where we are. Alright. And we have this little airboat over there. Link. It was around here that I saw Princess Zelda. But now I don't know where she could have gone. Hmm? Talking about the boat. What is that? Hmm. What is that thing? He says. As he just flies over there without me. You have to talk to him. I think we do. Okay. What do you see, buddy? Look at that! It's a boat! It's a plane! Huh? What is that? Who knows? Come. Come. It's beckoning to us. To them? Whose voice was that? Was it coming from somewhere up there? Sound like it. Whoa, do you see that thing inside the cloud? Is that another boat? But it's huge. There's tons of flying little boats too. You know what it reminds me of? Hmm. A line of ships soaring built as a passage skyward. The god ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. This whole thing is just like the song of the storm wind ark. Oh. Was that children's song true after all? You heard that strange voice too, right, Link? I'm sure I heard it say, come to me. Huh. It's like it's calling us up there. I don't see anything that around here that would lead us to Princess Zelda. Maybe she went over to that ship. Uh -huh. Well, nowhere to go up but up. Come on. All right, so yeah, we have to keep going. Anyway, there is something we could do with this boat. It's really fun. We have to climb all the way over here. And we are just going to jump on top of this. And it springs us up. That's what we do here. All right. Okay. I'm going to do the shrine real fast. Because we, uh... Well, we need this fast travel point. So this is... Yeah, because I really need to go down, grab the warm pants, and do the other thing that I wanted to do. So, yeah, we won't be um, going up to that mysterious boat just yet. There is something we need to do. It's going to tie into um, us saving that musician from the hole from a few episodes ago. Because that's really going to help us out. Downward force. Okay. Anyway. We opened that. I broke my bow. That's all right. I've got plenty more. I'll grab the arrow. I don't think I have plenty of those. I could use them all trying to shoot those flying creatures with snowballs. Anyhow. Uh-oh. Yeah, I see. Anyway, I don't want them falling off. There we go. Give me your horn and the Zonai charge. There we go. Alright. So, here we just dive into the, uh, boat things and it launches us up. So, yeah. That's the puzzle here. I don't think there's a treasure down over there, was there? Oh, well. 
I think it might be over there, actually. We're just gonna... Over here. Dive. Launch us up. We need to get a little bit more height before we could get over there. I do see that treasure, and I want it. I see a treasure. I want it. I need it. Oh, crap. Didn't land on the boat. I just landed on a hard surface, and it hurt. Let's see if we can get over there. We should. We should. This should be enough height. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yeah, it is. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay, fuck it. Need to get a little bit higher, it looks like. Maybe this boat over here. Hmm. How do I... I don't know. I'll figure it out later. If I ever do. Ooh. Heading the side of the floor. There! Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, with the... Like, go in the fuck, Go in the center. Okay. Come on. Get up there. There's a hole, right? No, there isn't. We have to find a switch. No wonder. No wonder why I'm making a fool of myself. There's a switch up there that I need to activate. Okay. Alright. There we go. That opens it up. Okay. I think now we can go. Whoosh. And, well, could just go complete the shrine, but I think now we have enough height to get to the treasure, don't we? Just need a stamina food if we need to. No, we don't have enough height. Maybe we do it this way. Too bad we don't have tool in the shrine. Okay, you know what? I don't want to keep racking my brain trying to figure out how to get to that, uh, treasure. We got a lot to do. So. Okay, just give me my goddamn light and I will be on my way. Okay. Let's do this! Hell yeah. There's one. Okay. Sweet. Alrighty. So that's the shrine. So what we're going to do is... Well, first, let me look at my materials. I'm going to sell some of this, some of these materials to the Rito Village. So we're going to go back down. And Tulin won't come with us. He'll just be... He'll be in this general region. Like, we don't have to, like, go back to this particular shrine to reunite with him. We just have to sort of, like, leave the village and, like, even on the mountain path... I'm leading up to this little area. He'll be waiting for us, but he won't be accompanying us um, outside that that little area. So, yeah, he will be following us for um, that segment of the game. But we're we'll have to leave him behind for now. He'll be fine. He'll just he'll just wait there for us. He'll be safe. He won't get into trouble. I promise. Anyhow, uh, hello you. I'm here to sell some of my some of my wares. Uh, let's see. It have this. I don't think it's gonna be enough for what I want. No, it's not. Damn. Okay, so what can I sell? That will be enough. Really don't want to sell any of my zonite charges or my zonite. I might have to come back later because I'm gonna also go do something else. Okay, so. There is another quest we can be doing. Well, I guess we don't have it active. All right. There is something. Hold on. All right. I just had to read a guide real quick to see what we need to do. Um, we are going to have to leave this region of the game and we're going to have to go somewhere around. Maybe not this area, but somewhere close, close to like, um, I don't even know how to describe it. I'll just have to show you myself. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just at a loss for words right now, but we're going to do a side quest that's really going to help us out going forward. And I kind of want to do this before we really like getting into like dungeon stuff as we're about to get to our first dungeon. So before we do all that, I'm going to sort of take another diversion from all this and like what we're going to try to do is the side quest. Um, get some things in order before we can really safely explore the dungeon. 
I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Anyhow, there's, um, Hestu. Yeah, and he's talking about how he's just hanging out here now. So, we'll just give him some Korok seeds. Okay, he can have those. Give me another weapon slot. There we go. Never have enough weapons. Alright. Bow. Okay. Now I have more weapon and bow slots. That's gonna really come in handy. Da na na na. Okay. So we don't need the warm pants anymore. We can just change into our Hylian trousers. Better armor. Alright. Anyway, um, oh, they don't have their mini stable built, so I don't have a horse. I'm just SOL in that regard. Okay, so, little guide says, large river northeast from Hyrule Castle. So we need to go northeast of Hyrule Castle. All right. Yeah, I think it's like the Elden region, which is where uh, Death Mountain is. Well, not quite at uh, Elden, but close enough. Anyway, I do see another shrine. So, yeah, there we go. Hopefully I... F well, the place I'm going to will be a stable. I hope I find another stable along the way, because walking all the way over there is going to be a real pain in the you-know-where. Anyway, let's mark that. All right, I guess we're just hoofing it for a little bit. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. I think I asked you that before. I'm sure I did. It's the problem with these long episodes is, like, it's... I forget a lot. I forget what I say and what I do. But... You know, I guess it don't really matter that much in the long run. I'm just making conversation, just trying to fill the dead air with something. I guess I can tell you about something I did recently. Try not to uh, get too shocked. Uh, if you're sitting, try not to stand. But I played League of Legends for the first time, like, last week. And you know what? It's a complicated game. I've never played a MOBA before, but I played League of Legends. In fact, I made two videos of me playing the tutorial. They are on the channel right now, and I gotta say that first part, part one of me playing the tutorial, it is possibly my fastest growing video. Like, it is almost at 200 views right now. And I don't get a lot of views. So for it to, like, uh... For a video of mine to really accelerate like that, it's like, holy shit. I guess that means I'm obligated to play more League of Legends for the channel. I'd like to, honestly. Just play some more. Um, still not confident against, you know, playing against human opponents. But, you know, I, I'd i really like to make videos of at least, like, practicing against AI and then eventually move on to human opponents. I think that'll be the... Uh, That'll be the action there, because honestly, I, I'd rather not just <laughs> make videos of me just struggling against people, because, well, let's be real, I'm not gonna do so well. I already struggle against AI, but, you know, I've been practicing. Uh, my friends started, like, doing get-togethers of playing League of Legends, doing 5v5 ARAM or whatever. I tried playing with them once. I guess human opponents, 5v5 ARAM. It was only the five of us. There's supposed to be more, but there's only five. Um, literally just me and... <laughs> and, you know, my... Well, three... Maybe two or three people that I know and one I didn't really know. But, um... Yeah, we just tried playing 5v5 ARAM and I had only played the tutorial. That was the extent that I had played. And I was just absolutely lost against these human opponents, and, um... Eventually they were kind enough that we just sort of got in a team, you know... After we surrendered <laughs> that match, because we... There was no way in hell we were gonna win with me holding them back, but, um... They were kind enough to, uh, just... We teamed up, we did some practice against AI matches, and, um... They were willing to teach me the game, um... I don't think they really wanted to, but they were willing to do it anyway. Well, you know what? That's not that's not fair. They did want to, but I know one of them, the one guy that did coach me was, I know I, he did kind of get tired of it, which understandable because, I mean, 
You're trying to teach someone a complex game. You just you're trying to teach someone a complex game. You just like League of Legends came out in like 2009, which surprised me honestly. I did, had no idea it was that old. But um, yeah, there's like, oh crap! I tried to throw my fire fruit at him and tell this League of Legends story at the same time. There we go. There we go. Anyway. It's just a complex game, it's just trying to give someone a trial by fire. It's just, it's, it's a, I, I imagine it's a complicated thing, like, I bet if I try to teach them how to play a game like Overwatch, like, I'm obviously not an Overwatch pro, but if I were to, like, teach them, like, Overwatch 2, it would be, like, complicated. I think a lot of them did play Overwatch, um... Like when it first came out, but they haven't since. So I'm like the only one in my group of friends that still plays Overwatch 2 on a somewhat regular basis. Like, I'm not a pro, but I could certainly do a little bit of coaching, even if it is basically like blind leading the blind, because I'm nowhere near pro level. Um, I don't know. I don't know all the pro strats to that game, but, you know, I could sort of teach a good beginner the basics, but I... But even so, I imagine, even if I did, it'd be complicated, because Overwatch has changed since, uh, since, um, 2016. Um, everything's changed. Anyway, there's a Korok he needs to get to his friend. Where's his friend? Alright. All the way over there? Alright. So sad he can't move. Where's the nearest Skyview Tower? Not that one, is it? No, that one's too far away. Might be. What the fuck was it? Over there? Just trying to fill out more of the map. Anyway, uh, how do we get this fucker over there? Oh, there we go. We're just gonna grab this flyer and then we have a rocket. We're a fan. Maybe the fan will be a little bit better. I think that think that'll be a little bit easier to try to get over there. So to try to mess around with that rocket. And this guy. Put him. I don't know. Over here. I'll stand right there. Anyway. Oh, I can't, can I? No, I can't. That's right. Because we have nothing that'll let us really um. Fly over there. I guess we are using the rocket. Fuck it. Alright, you know what? That's how it is. That's how it is. Anyway. I don't think there's any way in hell of me getting my friends to play Overwatch with me now that I think about it. <laughs> in fact, I know that. They don't like Overwatch, and I don't blame people for not liking Overwatch. It's a weirdly complicated game. It's kinda. And it's like... I don't know, man. I don't know how to describe it. A lot of people just don't like it, and Activision Blizzard doing its Activision Blizzard controversies really, really, really isn't helping things, so... Yeah. I mean... I'll offer it to them if they ever want to do something like that. I know. I know they've sort of thrown around other game ideas like um, Rocket League and Diablo. In fact, the guy that coached me... <laughs> Um, playing, um, League, League of Legends. He recommended I get Diablo 2, and I did get Diablo 2 recently, so I need to do a video on that. I don't know when this video is going up, so I don't know if I'll have a video on that game out or not. But, I'd like to give that game a try. Because I have it now. Finally, I have some other use of my battle net. <laughs> of my battle net thing. Launcher, besides Overwatch 2. Speaking of Overwatch 2, you guys, you subscribers, you viewers, you like the Overwatch 2 videos, which I'm glad. You know, what? I did Overwatch 1 last year, I didn't know how well received those videos would be. I just did them because fuck it, man. I haven't played Overwatch in years. May as well just try it out. Anyway, I think this is where we need to go. Right here. Alright. So I just make it over there. Now this would be easier with a horse, but I have no horse. There is something we need to do at the Woodland Stable. For the side quest that I'm thinking of doing. 
it's necessary. Anyway, I know there's a cave over there that I'm just skipping over. Um, like, I just have no time for it <laughs> right now. I really want to try to get this done as soon as I can. But, I don't know, man. It just feels like there's a lot of running and walking that I have to do. Oh, God, Addison. You know I'm addicted to helping you, brother. So I just got it, don't I? Alright. It's got a weird sign like that, and it's... I don't even know how to do this one. I forget. Okay. Need this as a base. And... Fuck, I don't know. Um... Ah, oh, how do I do this? Maybe. I don't know. This might be crazy enough to work. Or this just might be crazy. I don't know. That's fine if it does that. That'll be fine. Check this shit out. Okay. Maybe this isn't it. Yeah, that's not it. Alright. Hmm. Huh. Let me see. Ah, uh, let's see. Do this. Not quite. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sort of racking my brain how to figure this shit out. Pretty sure I've done this one before. God, there's just so many signs and... Like, so many different ways to, like, uh... Do this. Maybe I need a bigger piece of wood. Okay. Let me see. I could somehow... Two hours later. Okay, let's see how this does. Am I letting go? Are you kidding me? Okay. I think I'm close. That wasn't quite it, though. That did not stand up on its own. So we're just gonna have to make it so that it does. Alright. I see. I have the answer right here. Okay. Now I'll try it again. All right, give me my stuff. Worked hard for you. I literally stopped in the middle of what I was doing to help you. Now give me the rupee. And give me the veggie balls. And the bomb flower. Okay, cool. All right, you know what? I think we're at time now. So, we're just gonna have to continue on with this little diversion later. So yeah, sorry about that, but this is going to be very useful coming up, so yeah, this is totally going to be worth it. But in the meantime, if you'd uh, do me a solid like, comment, subscribe, click the bell, share the video around. really would help me out a lot, and I do appreciate your support. But that's it. I am JT Gunner, and this is Tears of the Kingdom, and I will see you next time, so I'll see you later.